What's up, Dame Gang? It's your boy Dame Dash, and I'm back with another video for y'all. Hey, y'all, did you miss me? I hope so. I miss you guys so much. Today, we're back. We have the TikTok viral Dutchman burger, flying Dutchman burger from In N Out. And I got some animal style, animal style fries back here with the In N Out sauce that I made myself. This one right here is a double. These two are singles. I also have the peppers up to the side. I am so hungry. Um, oh, I gotta do a thumbnail. I don't know. I'm just ready to eat, y'all. Hope y'all having a great day. I don't know when this video is going to come out, but I'm filming this on a Monday, so it might come out today. I don't know. Look at it. It's messy. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Look at it. Let's take a thumbnail. The Flying Dutchman is pulling. Okay, this is the sauce that goes with it, in and out sauce. Okay. Mm. 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 Mm -mm -mm. Mine's still actually warm, hot. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Now it's messy as hell, but it's so good. Mm. the ammo style fries basically it's American cheese this sauce and um, caramelized onions mm-hmm mm -hmm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. If you were scared of a little mess, I recommend trying it. It don't have to be as messy as mine's. Now, because I am filming for you guys and filming purposes, some people like it messy. So I did try them wrapped in the um, what's parchment paper, and it wrapped really good. So 
if you're just eating them in the comfort, comfort of your own home or whatever, you don't have to do. Mm. I don't have to be as messy. If you wrap them up with that parchment paper. Mm. Yeah, it is so good. Wow. I made everything myself. Oh, I bought the fries. I was gonna make some homemade fries, but I was too hungry. Oh, you got a little onions for this too. Mmm. I didn't eat it in and out a few times, but I never had the Dutchman, the fire Dutchman. This is on the secret menu. If you don't um, ask for it, they're not going to offer it because I heard they don't like making it. Mm. It's so good though. Okay. I'm gonna move on to the next one because I ain't got no more onion on that one. Wow. Mm, 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 mm. I got a burgers. Oh man. Mm. Woo. That's good. <clears throat> With this meal, I did film it up there on my vlog channel. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I also filmed a TikTok, a TikTok. So, you know. If you want to follow your boy's recipe, step by step, I will have it out for you. I don't think I did that no differently, but I actually seasoned my, seasoned my meat. A lot of people, I would say, just put salt and pepper. Mm -mm. Mm. I also discovered, uh oh. Mm -mm. Mm. Also discovered a trick to making them stay together a little more. Mm. Mm -mm. I am sweating. Because I'm hot from cooking. I literally just got down. And then it's pouring down. Oh my god. Mm. Excuse my appearance. <laughs> but 
When you making yours, right? I don't see nobody do this. They put all their cheese on the burger. When you making it, put the cheese on the onion. Melt the cheese onto the onion. And put the burger in between. That way, the cheese will keep the onion together from falling apart. That's what I did. Mm. That's keeping everything together. I am um, so satisfied though. I don't understand. It's a little warm. Mm -mm. I'm sweating. Like, I just stepped out of the shower. Like, what's going on? Mm-mm. Purpose. Ooh, okay. I like it. It's three seventeen. This is my first time eating it down. And it was worth it. Like it was worth the wait. <clears throat> I'm happy. I didn't know on the days that I film or anything like that, or most days, so I'm only eating like once, especially if it's gonna be like something heavy. Should I open the window in here? Maybe it's these lights. I ain't leave these lights on long enough, and I was rushing. Oh, this is knocking me out! Like, this is slowly making me like. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Energy. Game. Now, it was messy as hell making this. Because I used my griddle. The meat was popping every damn well. But I feel like the griddle was easy, especially for the onions. Like, keeping them together and stuff like that. Because you never realize how hard it is trying to keep an onion sliver together. Until you actually need to make something with them. Like, any other time when I'm just making onions regular or cutting onions to go into a dish, they always be stuck like this. But because I wanted them to be stuck like this, I was having issues. Make sure you get you a large onion. 
Or get two. Like, if you only need, like, to make a sandwich, one sandwich or something, you still get more than enough. Just in case you mess up. And the trick to it is to make the onions thick when you cut them. You know? But... If you're into trying new things and you want to just try something, I would recommend you try it. It's nothing too crazy. The onions are not very overpowering like some may think. I got regular yellow onions. I've seen some people using sweet onions. I don't really think it matters. I mean, I ain't seen nobody using a red onion or anything like that. But the onion is not overpowering like you would think it would be. It's not super like spicy because you're cooking it. Really good. Ooh, and then this is just American cheese. I um. Oh, excuse me. I saute my onions with butter, a little brown sugar. I got this new um seasoning from Kinder's. It's called roasted garlic brown butter, and it's good. I do some of that. Salt, brown sugar, and butter. Mm. It's really good. I'm glad I tried it. Y'all know I'm good to try something, okay? Um, would I get it again? Probably not. Probably not. I don't think I'll order it again or make it again because it's messy as hit. I would wrap it in lettuce because, you know, you can wrap it like a, wrap that thing up. This probably would be good if you put a tomato on it and then wrap the whole thing in lettuce. Woo, that might be yummy. But I did enjoy it. I think you should try it. It'd be something to do with the kids. Mm. I got a little burners. Do y'all drink burners? I know. I know burners. Burners is made here. Michigan made, you know. But I've seen these in different states. Let me know. Do they even say Michigan made on it? I don't think it does. But, um, yeah, let's go. A Michigan original soda since 1866. It does say it. But, um, yeah, let me know if you like burners or if you ever had them. It's like a ginger ale. But to me, it's not as strong as ginger ale. Like, I like ginger ale. Both of them help settle your stomach. You know, black family, if you don't feel good, get you a ginger ale. Just your ginger ale. It's going to help your stomach because it's ginger. But um, let me know if you have or what's your favorite, oh, excuse me, ginger ale drink. And also comment down below if you're going to try this or if you already did. Let me know. Like, let's come on. Let's get in the comment section. Let's talk a little. I don't know when the video will be edited for this. Um, the TikTok or the, um, the vlog. I'm not quite sure. However, it will be on. And I might go back and link it to this actual video if this is out before that. So, you know, it can be, you know, one area. But make sure you guys are following me on all social media. And if you don't know, I do have a mukbang. I mean, uh, and if you don't know, I do have a vlog channel. It is Life with Dame Dash. And that's where I do... My day to day, I'm always over there. I'm over there probably a little more than I'm over here. I'm trying to find a good balance, but I'm also trying to keep my weight where it is and my health intact. So I'm doing what was best for me. So yeah, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, I'm full. I love y'all. I'll see y'all in the next video. Love you. Peace. Love you. Peace.